Down the streets of New York City walks a man with a camera, looking, always looking for the bold, the brave, and the beautiful. I roam the streets of New York looking for the most elegant, vital, and creative people over 50. I've always had an affinity for older people, and I feel like there's an advanced sense of self. They're sharing an art form. Okay, and now up a little bit. Do you mind if I take your photo? What are you going to use it for? I have a, a blog called Advanced Style. Okay, and then maybe show me a little bit of your asymmetrical sweater. Can you see the asymmetry? I can. Feel this. It feels so good. Does it Here. feel like butter? Give me a thrill. What do you call that? Glamour. We all get up in the morning. I take a look at myself in the mirror and I go, ah! And I get dressed. I feel like a different person. I think a woman has to dress up every day. This is an outfit that I love. It's simple, it's chic, and I can wear it on all occasions. How do you put together an outfit? It's sort of like how I pick my breakfast. I think I'm hungry for that color today. I use common sense as my guide. If I were running around in a matching skirt, I would look like I was getting ready for Halloween. You have to mix it up. You know, you don't want to be matchy-matchy. It's boring to be matchy-matchy. If you wear black as jeans, that's my basic outfit, black underneath. Then you put any color you want, any scarf on you want, any piece of jewelry you want, a hat, and you're all dressed. Lately, I've been focusing on acquiring a wardrobe of sunglasses because they hide the ravages of time and they let me stare at people without their knowing. Tell me about some of your accessories that you're wearing. Well, the first thing that comes to mind is this. It looks like it's Hermes, but it's not. These are glass. These leggings, which really look like leather pants, but they're not. I thought they were boots not. originally. And they're not boots, and they're fun, and they have a great interesting style element, which is this embroidery on the back. I make jewelry, oh, you and do? this is one of the pieces that I made. That's so cool. And you must have a smile. If you don't have a smile, you can wear the most gorgeous clothes in the world. If you haven't got the personality... Is that your best accessory? Yes. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> my style is depending on the weather, on my mood. I believe in creative dressing. It lifts your spirit. Do you mind me asking how old you are? Not at all. Okay. At one time, I used to tell my students when they wanted to know I'm between 50 and death. <laughs> now I'm very honest because I'm very proud I made it. I'm 90 years old. Wow, you look great. And I'm still here. <laughs> <laughs> when I was younger, I really didn't know where I belonged. And I was very mixed up about things. But now that I've come into my own, it's so wonderful because things seem so simple. <laughs> What I've learned about style is you don't stop being creative, you don't stop being vital, you don't stop being stylish at a certain age. So when I see an older woman who's graceful and elegant, she wears her clothes with confidence and she really has a sense of who she is. Be who you are and don't let anyone tell you to be what you are not. It's not about age, it's about how I'm feeling. Why not just dress for the way you feel? You've got nobody looking over your shoulder anymore telling you that it's inappropriate, as long as you feel good. I love this, I love dressing up. In this city full of women coming of age, our man keeps walking, wearing out that shoe leather, looking for the next generation of style. Dress to the theater of your life. Don't let this moment pass, because the best of times is now. No! No!